ducks are up. We are up. Today's a really exciting day because we are harvesting all of our potatoes that we grew in our cardboard boxes. Now, we did not know what kind of yield we were gonna get from this thing. We've been pulling a couple potatoes out to eat them. Potatoes are amazing. You plant a little piece of potato and you can get pounds of potato from that little piece. So we're really, really excited to harvest these potatoes. You guys want to know how tough a mama hen is. Look at all these predators just giving her her space. Mama hen don't mess around. The best brooder for baby chicks is the mom. Just automatic, teaches them where to get food, how to get water, keeps them safe. Those little chicks are doing really, really good. those things. I'm going to turn off the sprinkler over here. Lots of noises happening today. Um, after potatoes, we're going to milk our cows. I'm oh, not going to fall on the slip. And milking the cows is going so great. Patty is a champ. Cece's getting a hold of like the whole routine. We're trying to keep some of our pastures green with irrigation. Really guys in California, right now is the dry season. You're just gonna see a lot of this until November, December. So our intention here is to just keep a little bit green for the cows to graze on. Uh, so far it's kind of a little bit futile. Just putting water on the top of the soil. <laughs> we would love to have permanent irrigation in one day, but uh, that's an expensive endeavor. So the way we do it is with cheap sprinklers that we get off Amazon and places like that. So, oh well, <laughs> it's kind of the nature of uh, living here where we live. We, we do a lot of hay during the summer. Uh, I know places with harsh winters do hay during the winter. So we just, I guess we just have the opposite thing going on here. So, whoop. Okay, onto the taters. So these are the Adirondack blues. These are the German butter balls. And then these ones over here are, I think the Austrian fingerling potatoes. Uh, these are all from Haas Tools Potatoes Gourmet Sampler Mix. And so I'll put that link below. Haas Tools customer service is second to none. Such good quality seeds. Um, I don't know what we did wrong here, but anyway, the, the, the brown spots on the plants hasn't decreased their production at all. They've been healthy otherwise. It's just like little freckles. It's, it's not harmful at all. My job right now is I'm gonna remove all of the tops and the leaves, and then we'll dig for the potatoes. Traditionally, what's up, bud? What is it? It's a Where did you get a crawdad from? I don't know, I just... Cade found a crawdad. A dead one. A dead one. <laughs> In the little dry creek bed, which is crazy. I didn't know we could have crawdads right here. Well, you should probably throw that away. I don't know how old that is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's funny, when you make a pond environment, pond things come. 
Okay, so traditionally any leftover plant matter, flowers, leaves, stems, and stuff like that, we would just chuck over to our livestock. Potatoes are part of the nightshade family, and so they can be poisonous to animals. So we are not going to feed this to them. We're just gonna stack it up in a pile where we don't plan on gardening, where our animals can't eat it. So that way, the brown leaf spot is not part of our garden's ecosystem. We just don't want it to add up, so it potentially becomes a problem in our garden. It's a good idea anyway to rotate your crops. So whatever is here for the next three years, we'll plant something different. So that way any diseases, blights that are common for potatoes, uh, we'll plant something else here next time or right after this crop. That way those diseases don't build up. Let's chop the tops off of these potatoes. I'm gonna go get the kids to help me harvest because many hands make light work. They're feeding all the animals right now. Um, and let's get to it. We probably could and should have let these potatoes grow a little bit longer. Traditionally, you pull them when the stems and leaves turn brown. That means they're not putting any more energy into making potatoes anymore. Um, we have plenty of potatoes on the other side of the garden that we can let continue to grow. I'm doing a competition where I'm only eating what I grow on our homestead for 30 days. And so I need those potatoes to get in my belly so I can have some calories and some french fries and some hash browns. So I cut off the stems. I left the little bottom of the stems so we can pull the whatever potatoes are underneath. Uh, you can see some of these are green. That's because they weren't covered by dirt and those are not gonna be good to eat. So eating those ones can make you sick. We won't eat those, but I accidentally pulled up one already and it's looking good. You can see that this potato, when you have a seed potato, it's got all these little eyes, right? Eyes here. Uh, well, this one doesn't have too many eyes, but you cut up this potato into multiple pieces and you get more potatoes. There's a lot of potatoes. Okay, let's harvest them, I think. Here. What does harvest mean? It means to pick them or dig them up. So here I left I'm getting stems. Used to you gotta pull it up and then you gotta dig for those taters. Oh, I got four tiny potatoes. One tiny potatoes. I got four. Oh keep potatoes. them keep them same color. Same type. Oh, so the the, um, the ones in the so yeah, we'll keep the blue ones. We need the purple. The purple or blue, or the Adirondack blue, that's what they're called. Let's see who can get the biggest one. Dad's doctor recipe for the biggest one so far. Wait, no, I've got the recipe. Those are the German butter balls. German butter balls. <laughs> I hold the record for the biggest right potato. Ooh, uh, Ooh. That one, almost cut in half. That was probably the the seed. That was probably the plant. And a little potato. Okay, little ones are good too. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a big one. Look at that. I got a super tiny one. And look how tiny my potato is. <laughs> I hold the record for the there. biggest potato. I hold the record for the tiniest potato. That was the seed potato. That's where it grew from the beginning. Do we still eat this one? No. Okay, so then I take this one
because we were trying to find the record potato. I got the record one so far. Somebody tricked us. I found the record breaking potato for that. The purple one. Ooh, all of those. Found a big potato. Found the weirdest potato. What? <laughs> it's a butt. It's a butt. <laughs> what is it? It's a butt. Oh my goodness, that is a weird potato. Yeah, it has the record breaker for the weirdest potato. <laughs> I think you did find the tiniest one. So after we got all the easy ones on top, so we didn't damage the potatoes, now we're just kind of flipping up all the dirt and seeing if anything is left behind. Make that ten. Ten. So far we found a few. Oh, Good. that's why. Yeah. Let's eat Try that not today. to stick a fork in it, because we got we're gonna have to eat that one today. Okay, look at that potato! Holy moly! Is that the biggest one found so far? I might might be. No. And look what we found! <laughs> oh, you guys! If you saw our video where we killed the last toad, <laughs> we almost killed a second toad <laughs> by spearing it. Oh, hi, it's buddy! Okay. Not only did we harvest potatoes, we harvested a toad. <laughs> Are you toad okay? I don't. I don't think we got him. Here, Bricky. You want a toad? Sure, fine. he does. It's fine. Hold it. Yeah. Look, he's just a toad. He's just a toad, he man. Look at his eyes, Brick. They're Look at his so butt. Cool. It's a it's a what? It's a crack. <laughs> yeah. yeah, even toads got cracks. Okay. Oh, there goes oh. a peed. Yeah. We got it. <laughs> Please. We're going to keep him in the garden, I think. Yeah, we just got to find a safe place for him. Okay. You want to hold him? He's peeing a lot, so. Ew. Yeah, he already peed on my foot. <coughs> Where does he pee from? His butt. His butt. Oh. Here. <laughs> I know. Never handled a toad before, huh? Can we keep him until he gets bigger? Since we killed the last one, we found out these guys are very beneficial in the garden, so it gets to stay. Look at his fingers. You see how his eyes are golden? <laughs> what, do you, what are you going to call him? Trevor. Look at his... What are you going to call him? Trevor. Trevor. Let me see. The toad from Harry Potter. Look, he's holding my finger. Okay, let's put him. Whoa, look at his back. No, it's super cool. They're peeing a lot. They're peeing a lot. I know, he's peeing a lot. He's such a cutie. He likes it. He's a very calm guy. He's got the bladder. Oh, dads, we have fish, we have frogs and toads. And we have tadpoles. Okay, let him be. Let him the, frog. Let him hey, the cool hey. of that clover. Okay, we, we left this row because there's still flowers coming up on it. So 
we've harvested enough potatoes that we think it'll last us for a couple weeks. Or the whole Yeah, check that out. That's just a couple, two small rows. We planted probably a pound of potatoes in each row and ended up getting 50 pounds of potatoes. That's just me eyeballing it. But I mean, that's pretty darn good haul from just two pounds of potatoes. Uh, so we're gonna let these dry out and cure. We'll probably take some of the damaged ones inside and Brixton wants to make what? Potato chips and french fries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we made some potato chips yesterday and they were pretty darn good. Yeah. If and you did not know, if you have lard at your home and it's from your own farm and you're doing the farmer's challenge and if you have potatoes on your farm, Make potato, potato chips and french fries. Potato chips and french fries. <laughs> they are awesome. They are phenomenal. <laughs> okay, guys, you want to end this video? Yeah. Brixton's just dancing away. Coghill style. <laughs> Put in the comments your favorite way to eat potatoes. I just <laughs> what was it again? <laughs> it was to make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the like button. And subscribe to the channel. Love you more than potatoes.